How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Apparently I did a pretty good job of reviewing that watermelon slicer as well as that handheld stitcher from Amato that they came back and asked me to review some more products. So today I have this corkscrew opener. It's one of those fancy ones where basically you just push the handle down and then you pull out the cork. I got a bottle of this two buck chuck from Trader Joe's. Sadly is no longer two dollars, it's actually two ninety nine. This is a Charles Shaw Red. Cabernet Sauvignon 2014. Apparently if you get the cheap wine from Trader Joe's, it's pretty close to a little bit more expensive wine. It's not gonna taste like $20, $30 wine, but it would be close to maybe $10 wine. Interestingly, if you look up taste tests on wines for like $5 wine, $20 wine, and $200 wine, most of the time people can't even tell the difference between $20 wine and $200 wine. So if you're gonna buy a bottle of cheap wine, you can go all the way up to maybe $10, $20 and people won't be able to tell the difference unless you see the label or something, it has like gold on it, then maybe when people open it, they'll feel a sense of satisfaction. They go, oh yeah, this is really expensive wine, $100, $200. And when they drink it, they're like, mm, yeah, it tastes really good. But you know, blind tasting wise, if you don't show people the bottle and how fancy or the price tag of it, if you go up to $20, you're gonna get the maximum taste already. Here's a box, nothing on the side. It says wine accessories here. Here's what's inside. There's a manual here. Rabbit Corkscrew Product Service Manual. It says it will be your best choice. The contents and it tells you how to use it. Keep away from children, don't have minors use it. The foil cutter thing and it says we are so sure that you will love Amato Rabbit Corkscrew. Somehow it says redstone. So here it is, the Rabbit Corkscrew thing. It's quite heavy. It comes with one extra screw thing. And over here, oh nice, it actually comes with this air removal tool. It's like this little suction pump thing. It sucks air out of the bottom over here. So you see, if I pull this right now, it'll go back. Whereas if I don't plug it up, it's kind of like, pushing air out. It sucks it in here and I assume it's pushing it out there. Here's the foil opener. Somewhat sharp here. And then here's the stand. There's a little cover here to cover the sharp pieces. A little rubber band to hold this thing. This cap definitely doesn't belong on here because the coloring is a little funny. So you gotta remove this. It's somewhat hard to remove for me. Okay. Oh, geez. Put this little wine stopper here. Put the foil cutter, fits in right here. Put the wine stopper in there. So I actually don't drink red wine regularly, so I don't have a really refined palate for red wine. Hence this $3 red wine. I've actually never used one of these corkscrew openers, so we're gonna see how easy it is for me to do it for the first time. There's a little tab that allows me to remove the foil, but I'm not gonna use that. Let's use the foil opener. Put this right on top like this. Squeeze it. Oh, nice. That removed it pretty easily. And I guess I can just peel off the rest. Okay, just open it up like that. Clamp it on top. Squeeze this one and pull this up. You see the corkscrew going into the cork. And then what? And then you pull it back up. Okay, and the cork's out. And then push the handle back down, hold the cork and then pull it back out like this and then you'll get the cork out. That was pretty painless and let me pour some wine. Cheers. I think I actually can taste $3 wine from maybe $10, $20 wine because I can definitely taste that this is uh, a little watered down, I guess. It's not bad at all. I mean, after you have a glass or two, you're probably not even gonna notice anymore anyway. I learned the hard way for the best freshness on the wine. You need to finish it within three or four days. Anything longer than that, it's gonna start to taste funny. But before three or four days is up, you can use one of these wine stopper things that sucks out the air that comes with this thing. You just stick it in like this and then, I think it's pumping out air. Yeah, it's pumping. This thing evacuates all the air from the wine in here so that there's minimal amount of oxygen to oxidize your wine. So then you can keep it for fresh a little bit longer. That's all about this wine corkscrew opener. You should know that they do print their logo right here on the handle. And I did notice that there's some imperfections along the handle here. There's like a little dot right here 
But other than that, the functionality is fine and it's pretty heavy duty. So I see this lasting pretty long. If you're interested in this product, I'll leave an affiliate link down below in the video description on where you can get this product. If you're interested in supporting this channel, check out my Audible link down below or I have a Patreon link over here. Don't forget to give me a like on this video, comment down below. Let me know if you use one of these semi-automatic wine opener things. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching. Apparently, alcohol is pretty bad for you if you binge drink. Although they do say red wine has some health benefits if you drink only maybe one glass a day. Wow, one glass a day. I can't imagine drinking that much. One leading factor that caused me to want to drink less is because one time I went to this Body Worlds thing and they showed the liver of an alcoholic. That liver actually had all these black spots on it from binge drinking. So even though you may not feel or see it immediately, it has a very physical impact on your liver. You should know that alcohol is not all that good for you and it's known to cause cancer. So drink responsibly, take care of your health, and cheers.